guys, Nick here with another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to enable the wireless hotspot on Android 9.0 Pi on your Sprint Galaxy device. Uh, this does work on the Galaxy Note 9. It might work on the Note 8 and other Galaxy S series phones, um, but I don't have those in hand to test. Um, but typically if it works on one of these, it'll work on multiple ones on the same Android release version. So the first thing we need to do here is open up our dialer and enter pound pound three two eight two pound and that stands for D-A-T-A -A to spell out data the three two eight two and then what we're going to do here let me get rid of my S pen thing there all right we'll hit edit and it's going to ask for our MSL which we do not have but by default you do have an MSL that you can use, and it's 000, 000, 000, just six zeros all in a line. Click OK, and just like that, you're in, and you can edit different settings. Now, if you go into your LTE settings, and you hit, oops, that's not it, I'm sorry. You go into, uh, well, we'll just leave that alone, because we're not going to mess with it anyway. If you go into your APN settings, which is what you want, you can see I've already created a custom APN. Uh, you'll see APN2 LTE EHRPD Internet, and that's nice. You go in, you can see other stuff, and you'll see I have my APN here. Now, this is one that I created in settings. So if I go, because I have an unlocked device, so if I go into my settings and I click on connections and I hit mobile networks, access point names, well, straight away, I can add a new APN if I so choose. Um, but that's because I have an unlocked phone paid for in full and I'm not leasing or financing my phone through Sprint. So if you go back over into the LTE settings, which let's let me get back in, pound, pound, three, two, eight, two, pound. Okay, I'm back in. And if I hit APN settings, you'll see that this is not grayed out. This add button is not grayed out here. Uh, so I have another video where I just added the APN manually in my settings and I could switch back and forth between the two APNs without having to uh, start over again. If you go into this one, this won't be grayed out and you'll be able to add this APN. However, you will not be able, let me show you what I'm talking about. So I can, you know, give it a name, whatever, and click OK. So whatever that is. Um, as soon as I go back, as soon as I leave, oh, hang on, I've got to give it an APN. So, give it a name. It will save this APN. So, APN, okay. And so, there it is, feet, the APN. And if you click on it and want to edit it, you cannot. You can't edit it. And the three-dot menu doesn't do anything for you. Uh, you just have save and discard, and if I hit discard, it doesn't do anything, and you can't delete it even. So what you have to do is get every single APN setting from this APN2 LTE EHRPD internet, every single one of these settings, so the APN, the MMSC, the multimedia message proxy, port, MCC, all these little things that have stuff entered into them, and you have to copy that into your new... APN manually. You can't just copy and paste and switch back and forth between two things because as soon as you leave the add menu, it's going to be gone. Or well, it'll it'll be there, but you won't be able to edit it anymore. That's how they lock you out of the settings. So if you go in and you add these APNs, you want to name it something different than your LTE HRPD. So I just named it my APN and I copied all the settings exactly, except when you get down to your APN type, this is the one that you want to change. In the Sprint one, it has default, MMS, XCAP, and SUPL over here. You want to get rid of the SUPL and the XCAP and just put comma DUN again. And that will make your hotspot start working. This is like an old method, but we're incorporating it into this new method of just adding a new APN manually. Now, there's no app that I've written to do this as of yet. I probably won't write one because there's no reason. You just hit pound pound 3282 on your dialer and you're there. There's not, no reset, no nothing like that. If I made an app, it would just include a link to this video, so it would be kind of pointless. Um, so, and there's, you know, nothing you have to pay for. Now, this does go against the data that you have. So, if you 
don't have hotspot, this is great because it enables the hotspot for you. But if you don't have unlimited data, say you only have 15 gigabytes of data to use on your plan per month, it will use those 15 gigabytes of data up. It does not enable unlimited data for you, okay? If people have asked me that. It does not do that. All it does is turn on the hotspot functionality that's built into the phone that Sprint blocks with their own APNs. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much it. I will put all of this stuff in the description, uh, what you need to have in your APN to make it work. And then when you're done, you just hit save and then you enable the APN. And that's literally it. If it doesn't start working right away, one thing you can easily do is just hit airplane mode, toggle that on, and then toggle that back off. And one thing I've noticed that does happen sometimes is you'll go to turn the hotspot on and it will come on but it will not, uh, anything that's connected to it won't have internet access. That's not a bug or anything. What happens is Sprint wants you to use their APN, of course, because they want to give you service, so that makes sense. And so what you'll see is you'll come into your access point names, and you'll see that it's back on APN 2 LTE EHRPD internet. And so what you need to do then is toggle your device into airplane mode, switch back to this My APN or whatever you name your APN, and then click uh, air, or toggle airplane mode back off. And that'll be it. It'll keep working continuously after that. And uh, I don't even need to show you guys to test this anymore because I've done so many of these videos that I think you ought, to just, you ought to just trust me. And there's no way to screw your phone up. If you mess up the APN or you make too many APNs that you've messed up, you can always go back in here and do the pound pound 27263 which is reset, or I'm sorry, it's, uh, what is that? Um, two, seven, two, six, three, uh, well, it, oh, it's, um, brand, sorry, it's, it stands for brand, B-R-A-N-D, it's pound, pound, B-R-A-N-D on the number pad, and you can reset all your provisioning parameters, which will wipe out any custom APNs that you've set. So that's it, thank you very much for watching, leave a like if this video helped you out, uh, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to me and turn on notifications so that you can get updates to these videos and methods as soon as I or somebody else is able to discover them. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.